The John Morris Show, episode 94. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... Hey there, my name's John Morris. I'm a former U.S. Army veteran turned freelance web developer. And my goal for you at this podcast is twofold. First, I want to help you learn how to code. Second, I want to help you turn that code into a full-time living. Because if you're like me, what you want is the freedom, the satisfaction, and the income that you get from being a high-profile web developer. So if that's you, be sure to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, or YouTube so you never miss an episode. You can find all my past episodes and get subscribed at johnmorrisonline.com slash John. Morris show. Also, as you get value from the show, consider becoming a supporting listener on Patreon because you'll help keep the show free for everyone and you'll get access to exclusive courses, source code, and Q&A sessions available only to supporting listeners. Visit johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, to become a supporting listener. All right, let's get into this episode. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the John Morris Show, johnmorrisonline.com. This episode, I'm going to be running through how to scroll to an anchor using jQuery. So essentially how to animate the scrolling to an anchor using jQuery. Now, I'm going to be doing a screencast here. So if you're listening to this on the podcast on iTunes or Android or wherever, then you may want to pop on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash YouTube and check out the video so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Of course, if you're with me on YouTube, then uh, be sure to stay tuned because we're going to dive into how to do that. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you the kind of the default behavior in the browser, and then we'll get into how we can animate that using jQuery. So uh, I'll, I'll kind of come down here to our HTML. So you can see what I've created here is just a very simple unordered list in that I have some anchor tags that are linking to then specific hashes within the page. And then you can see down here, I've set created some divs that have IDs set to those hashes. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth on down the list. So if we come over here then to our browser over here on the right hand side, you'll see that if we click one of these, so for example, if we click this first link, then we'll be taken right here to the top of this div for first, which is, you know, all by itself is pretty nice. If we click second, we go to second, third, we go to third, and of course, fourth and fifth, we go to fifth. All right, so that's the, the default behavior of the browser. You can set up any sort of anchor tags that way and it'll work that way. But a lot of times what people want to do is they want to animate that. They want to give it some sort of effect so that it doesn't just kind of pop on down there. It's kind of an abrupt transition there. So you may have clients or maybe your own sites or whatever where you want to do this kind of thing. And so what we can use is we can use jQuery to help us animate this. And it's nice because jQuery has some built-in stuff that really makes it pretty simple to do. All right, so... To, to kind of just go through this real quick with the code, of course, I have my doc type, I have my HTML, I have my head tag. Uh, I styled the body, made the width 500 pixels so that uh, this would you know, be a little bit easier for us to work with. And then I set the height to 3000 so that we had some space down here so that we could actually see the kind of the animation effect. Otherwise, if the bottom of the screen were, say, right here, right under this fifth, then this will only go as far as it can go on the page. So it would stop right here. So basically if we click that fifth link, it wouldn't be able to come all the way up here because it doesn't have anything below it, right? So in real projects that may be, you know, you, as you get towards, the, if you have hashes towards the bottom of your screen, that may be something to think about. But for our example here, I just added some height so we could see what we're doing here. All right, next I included the latest version of jQuery. Of course, we always have to do that if we're going to work with jQuery. And then I have our actual script that we're going to be using here. All right, so I'm showing you two different ways here. So the first, I'm just going to go ahead and come, or I'm going to come out the second one. We'll talk about this first one. 
All right, so let's go through this code real quick. So as always with jQuery, we start by using our document.ready function line here. This just essentially makes sure that the DOM is ready for us to manipulate it with jQuery. Again, this is pretty much it. You'll wrap everything inside of this. All right, next we're gonna then target what we wanna target, what we wanna manipulate. So what we wanna manipulate are actually these anchor tags in our unordered, unordered list here because those are the things that cause this animation to happen, okay? So we wanna target those. So what we're doing here is, again, we have our dollar sign, our print, open parentheses, uh, our apostrophe. That is essentially kind of how you always open with jQuery. Then we're referencing our anchor tags, so or A, and then we're using this kind of special selector. And what we're doing is we're, we're targeting any anchor tag that has an href that starts with, so this this these two lines right here, these two characters right here, this denotes starts with a hashtag, right? So any sort of hash anchor that starts with a hash, then that's what we wanna target. And again, if we come down here, that's exactly what we're after here because these all start with hashes. And so this would ignore regular links. So if you have an HTTP link, it's gonna ignore those, which is what you want. So that's why we want to target anything that starts with a hash. Now, so once we've done that and we've got our targeting down, we're selecting all those anchors, then we're going to target the event. So on, using the jQuery on method, click. So when it's clicked, then I want to run this function in here, this custom function, which is where we're going to animate it. All right, so on click, we're going to run this custom function. We are passing in this E, which essentially stands for the event, when you use some sort of event method and you pass in a parameter here, then you can use that parameter to reference the event that is taking place. All right, so that event, what we're gonna do is do event or E dot prevent default. So we're gonna just, we're gonna uh, prevent the default behavior of it flashing like this, All right? So, we want to just make sure we prevent that from happening. So that's what this does. And then we can get into actually targeting and running our animation. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to target the hash that we're after. So this dot hash is referencing the hash that's in the link that was clicked or the element that was clicked here. Okay, so this is going to reference this element. So we're looking for that hash. So again, it's going to be this first this second, this third, et cetera. So we're getting that and setting that as a variable. That's what we're doing here. Next, we need to make sure that that's a jQuery object that we can work with. So we're essentially objectifying it, <laughs> I guess is the way to put it, uh, by putting the dollar sign wrapping in parentheses. That means that allows us to be able to run jQuery functions on it because this dot hash by itself will not return a jQuery function, all right? So that's what we're doing with this line right here. This won't work if you don't do this, by the way. So this is something that you have to do. There's probably different methods of how people might go about doing this, but this is the most kind of straightforward where you can kind of see it all in terms of a tutorial here, all right? So again, objectifying our hash so we can can then reference a, uh, or use jQuery methods on it. And then you're gonna see down here, we're referencing HTML body, and then we're using this animate function. So this animate function, after getting through all this, or targeting everything, this is really the key to this whole thing. This is what's gonna allow the animation to occur. Now there are some different shortcuts too that you can use. Um, you know, here I'm just using the animate function so I can kind of walk through this, but there are, again, slide up, slide down. There's a number of different ones that you can use that are shortcuts for animate. But with animate, what you do here is you essentially uh, run the animate function and then you pass in an object of parameters of how you want it to run, okay? So the first one is our scroll top, right? So this is, uh, this is where we want it essentially to scroll to, okay? And so what we pass in is we pass in our target, which is, again, our hash. So this is, this is essentially looking for any element in our DOM that has the hash that was clicked. So when we click first, it's looking for any element 
that has an ID or an anchor name or whatever of this hash. Well, we have this div right here that has an ID of first. So it's going to find that. Okay, so that's what, uh, you know, this is doing here. And then because we objectified it, we can run jQuery methods on it. So we're going to do set the offset, right, and then to top. So essentially what this is going to do is this is going to set the, the scroll top to the top of the element that we targeted here. So the top of this div ID here. That's where we want it to scroll to, okay? So that's what we're doing. All this to, to essentially create that uh, so that we can scroll right to the top here. All right, next then we're gonna set the timing of it. So how many milliseconds we want it to take. We're setting it to a thousand. And then we can set the animation we want. So here we're setting swing. There's all sorts of different uh, animations that you can use. Um, so you can pass in different ones here depending on what you want. You know, I'll, I'll of course let you link look those up. I'm not going to go through every single one, but there's all sorts of animations that you can use here. Here we're using swing. And then this is a callback function. And so this this callback function is actually optional. What this one does is essentially when we click it sets the hash in the window here or in the URL bar to whatever we clicked. All right, so that's what this code does. Now let's see the effect. I'll refresh here. And if we click, say, third, you can see we get a nice smooth scroll down to third. If we click fifth, we get a nice smooth scroll down to fifth. Second, we get a nice screw smooth scroll down to second. Okay, so that's what it does. You'll also notice that whatever I click, I have this hash of second here. If I click third, then I have a hash of third, you know, and so on, right? So that's what the callback function does. All right, so that's pretty, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, this is code that you can pretty much, you know, in terms of this, this part right here, you can pretty much copy and paste. You may be even able to do the whole thing copy and paste depending on your project. Obviously, I don't recommend that that be all you do. It's best to, to, to learn it, but this is pretty, pretty fairly stable code that you can use in a lot of different situations. Now, the one option you may want here is maybe you don't want to show the hashes in the URL bar, so you can do that. And so the way to do that is to simply remove this callback function right here. So I've essentially taken all this code and removed it, all this stuff here, and removed it in this down here. So if we refresh and take a look at that, and actually I'll have to remove this hash from there so you can see this. So I'm gonna remove that hash, and then we click on, say, fourth. We're still gonna to scroll to fourth, but you'll see that there's no hash in the URL bar. All right, different scenarios, you may wanna do different things with that. I mean, you may have clients who don't want that there. You may have, you may not want it for your stuff. You may have a reason for not wanting it there, et cetera. So if you don't want that to show, you can just remove that last part there. All right, so that is how to scroll to an anchor using jQuery. Now, the big question you probably have at this point is how can you get access to this source code so that you can use it and this source code along with all my source code for all my tutorials, courses, everything is available to supporting listeners over on Patreon. So every single week they get a fresh new set of source code that I put out, plus they get access to all of the past source code that I've released through 90 some odd episodes of the podcast, through however many different courses I have uh, on my site. All that source code is available inside of Patreon as a supporting listener, how to build a CMS, a social network, uh, content or uh, uh, e-commerce site, on and on and on. That's all in there. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go to johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon to get access to this source code and everything else that I have. And I want to give a big shout out to current Patreon supporters. I appreciate your support, allowing me to continue to do this uh, and continue to help people who legitimately may not be able to afford a course or whatever. So again, appreciate all of your support. Again, if you'd like to learn more about that, go to johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. All right, if you like this episode, be sure to like it so that I know that you like this kind of content. 
If you know somebody who would like to know how to do this, I'd appreciate if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the podcast so that you never miss an episode. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time.